It's estimated that Edsel Ford's Speedster cost about $100,000 to build. It's a million dollar car in today's currency. Edsel wanted what he called a continental Speedster. The car had to have a lower, sleeker silhouette than a standard sedan or coupe. In order to have a very racy looking car, Bob Gregory designed these valences to cover the wheels and to turn as the wheels turned. I would have to call this a very cozy, selfish little cockpit, very much like a race car. And in those days, the Indianapolis formula for racing cars were what they called two-man cars, the driver and the hapless riding mechanic. The instrument panel is beautiful, and the large tachometer, the big dial, is so when a driver looks down, he's not looking at a little instrument, he's looking at a fairly large one in order to see what the engine RPMs were. The elegance of this car extends right to the tailpipe tips, which look very much like what you'd see on an MG or a Bentley in the 1930s in Europe. Here they are on an American car.